need to be re-atomized, meaning uh, they have heavy pigments and solids in there that sink a lot. The polyurethane is maintained pretty good without having to get goofy with them and mix them every time you use them. Earlier this morning while you were still dreaming about boats and stuff, I took my hammer in this and I knocked holes around this rim, four of them, so that it, when you strike your brush off on the sides, it, if you get anything in here, it's going to drain down back into the can. Oh, nice. Got it? People pay for tips like that. Definitely a little bit cold for us to be doing this and everything, but I'm hoping that by tomorrow morning this will be kind of tacked up and dry and we can give her a third coat tomorrow and call it good. I think it's really thick when it's cold. She needs to be a little bit warmer because it'll start slumping when it's cold and that's how you get runs. Viscosity changes, you know. It's uh, when it's warmer out, it, it feels thinner and it behaves differently. Like I told you, if you're doing just little things like this, these throwaway brushes are just fine. It's going to take us a whole five minutes to get this done. You throw the brush away, throw the can back, or the lid back on the can. Carry on. paint uh, so you think you know you get it into everything and always just you know finish it off one uh, it's not good hand good strike all the way across have a consistent stroke that'll just melt away the longer the strokes the better So that was like a two minute cough and a three minute paint and in five minutes. We just did a lot of work. <laughs> yes, you did. <laughs> Good job. I ran the video. <laughs>